Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will design the first order high pass filter circuit using the LT Spice tool. You can refer to this particular tutorial regarding the design and the theoretical explanation of the first order high pass filter circuit. Now let us start the design and simulation. Click on component and double click on OPAM. For this particular tutorial, we would be using LM108 operational amplifier. So place this particular operational amplifier on the schematic. In order to rotate, use control plus R and in order to mirror, use control plus E. Now, we have placed this LM108 op amp in this particular schematic. Next, we have to select the resistor and the capacitor value. So, place the resistor R1 on the schematic window and in order to rotate the resistor R2, use Ctrl plus R and place this particular resistor R2. Next, click on capacitor and place the capacitor C1 on the schematic window. Now we have to place an voltage source in this particular tutorial. So click on voltage source and we have to place three voltage source. Two voltage source would act as a supply to LM108 and the another voltage source would act as an input signal. To this particular circuit. Now we have to place the ground connection. So click on ground connection and place the ground connection at the negative terminal of all the voltage source as shown in this particular tutorial. At the positive side of voltage source we would extend this particular wire and we would be defining them as an global label. So extend the wire across all the voltage source and click on label net or before that right click on voltage source and we will define the DC value as 12 volt and define the DC value as minus 12 volt. Double click on V1 and change the reference as VCC. Similarly change the reference as VEE and let us define this particular voltage source as V in. Now click on label net and place the label net VCC across the extended wire of voltage source VCC. Similarly we have to extend the wire across the positive terminal of OPAM LM108 and also extend the wire across the negative terminal of LM108. Now click on label net and define this as PCC. Place the label net accordingly and also click on label net and define the label net as VEE and place the label net accordingly. Now click on label net and we have to define this particular label net as V in and place this on the schematic window. Now click on wire and connect the capacitor C1 to the positive terminal of OPAM LM108 and R1 to the capacitor. Connect the negative terminal of OPAM to resistor R2 and from R2 to the output of the op-amp. Next, we have to also place a ground connection across the resistor R1 and also we have to place a label net. Before that, define the resistance value as 31.6 kilo ohm and the R2 resistor value as 31.6 kilo ohm. Next, right click on capacitor define the capacitance value as 1000 picofarad 
and click OK. Now we have to click on label net. Before that click on wire and extend that particular wire across the capacitor. Now click on label net and define this particular label net as V in and place this particular label net V in across the extended wire of capacitor C1. Right click on voltage source V in, click on advanced, select sign and select the DC offset as 0, amplitude as 1, frequency as 5 kilohertz and the AC amplitude as 1. Now we have to place the spice analysis for this particular circuit. So click on edit, click on spice analysis and select the AC analysis. Type of sweep will be decade or you can select linear. Number of points per decade will be 100 and the start frequency as 1 hertz and stop frequency as 10 kilohertz. Place this on the schematic window. Now run this particular simulation and place the probe on the output of LM108 op amp of this particular circuit. You can see the frequency response of the high pass filter. Now run this particular simulation and place the probe on the output of LM108 op amp of this particular circuit. You can see the frequency response of the high pass filter. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose request you to like share and subscribe my channel below